The Tobago House of Assembly has saved some $4.1 million from the construction of the Lambo Bridge. This from the project manager Nidko, who says the project was completed with the stipulated budget. The now two-lane bridge was completed and commissioned on Monday. Patricia Nicholson has the details. The renovation works on the Lambo Bridge began in January 2017 and was expected to be completed within 13 months. This did not happen as the project, managed by the National Infrastructure Development Company Limited, NIDCO, experienced some delays. Senior project manager at NIDCO, Earl Wilson, explained the reason for the four-month delay. Delays were mainly caused by failure to show up the pile installation and the works had to be stopped to rectify that. During the construction of the northern abutment, the shoring was leaning and we had to stop work and also rectify that. The beams, which were the actual beams that span the bridge, were delivered on the 6th of December, but operational issues and inclement weather stopped them from launching it at that point in time until January. In addition, he said the bridge deck took longer than expected, along with other site management issues that contributed to the delay. Despite this, he said the bridge is of excellent quality and will hold up for the next 75 years. On the bright side, though, the contractor met and in some cases exceeded the specifications for the project, thus producing a quality project. A sum of $18.6 million was allocated for this project, but only $14.5 million was used. The construction expenditure we expect at the end of this is to be $14,551,063.68. There'll be a savings of over $4.1 million on this Project. The company is in charge of a number of other projects to be undertaken in Tobago, such as the Magdalena Hotel, Breakwater, and the location and design of a marina for Tobago. I'm Patricia Nicholson for C News. Secretary of the Division of Infrastructure, Quarries and the Environment said he is keen on ensuring that his division produces quality for the people of Tobago. Speaking at the commissioning of the Lambo Bridge, Mr. Devines said, although there were challenges in executing the work on the Lambo Bridge, a greater challenge is coastal erosion, which is posing a serious threat to the island. The fact that climate change is affecting us seriously, and as the secretary with the division in charge of the environment, I must take note of the extensive coastal work that had to be done, or the work that had to be done to protect the coast. And we can't turn a blind eye to what's happening around us. The three bridges, as was described by Mr. Wilson, are part of a larger challenge that we have with the Milford Road. As you realize, that coastal erosion is real here in Tobago. He applauded the project managers and contractors for delivering a quality project. The Lambo Bridge is expected to reduce the flow of traffic on the Claude Noel Highway. Meantime, Secretary Devines spoke about other key projects to be undertaken by his division Bridge. soon. And while we're doing that, we're looking at the fact that there's a comprehensive plan to improve traffic efficiency in Tobago. We're also going to be synchronizing the traffic lights throughout on the highway in particular so that we can again limit the wait time in traffic and that is something that the division is going to be rolling out very soon. We're also going to be finally starting phase 1A and B of the Claude Noel Highway Rehabilitation Program and that is going to start this June.